G'day Argy Bargy crew, hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Taking the auto car out today, the old 19, I think it's a 1976 model, a bit beat up. But uh, we're going to go from Barstow through to Oxnard, we're carting um, utility poles, 15 tonnes, from Barstow all the way through to Oxnard. <coughs> Have to excuse me, my voice is a bit craggy. It's, uh, it's, I think it's hay fever. I live in Australia, so it's, uh, it's springish over here. And you'd be going into your winter, I think, in America if you're in America. Anyway, yes. So let's do the pickup. Ooh, I'm going to have to swing right around here. There we go. Oh, it's going to be a blind reverse part of it. Now I may have to stuff it up. Because so I prefer to reverse. That's if it was real life from within the cabin. Makes it harder, but I like that. It's a bit of a challenge. Nothing like a bit of a challenge, eh? Yeah, I've got uh, some news too, so uh, stick around. I'll let you know about that at the end of the video. Oh, yep. No, I'm going to have to take another bite at that. Yeah, I, I've only driven this auto car one or two times before, so I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, that's that's okay. We'll take that. It's on the line. That'll do. That'll do big. All right, load her up. There you go, utility poles ready to rock and roll. The time has arrived, President Razor. The world awaits your commands. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Yes, we've got the uh, split screen, as you can see, up the top there, because I'm running dual monitors. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the second monitor view to view up in the top right hand corner and we've got the uh, wheel cam on the left in 400 meters so Turn that right. you get to sort of roughly see what I see with the dual monitors right. yeah the auto car if you're interested in it I'll uh, see if I can find the link that I Downloaded it from its uh, hat. hat, hat uh, I always get confused how to say it. Hat Rayu or Hater Ray, Ryu uh, mod. It's one of his. I like his trucks. He does a good job. Oh, he doesn't want to let me in. Mongrel. Thank you. Really didn't want to let me in. I, uh, I'm going to start another um, playlist on the channel if you're interested guys uh, Farming Simulator 22 I got a hold of that the other day and it looks really good so I'll be just starting to uh, do some videos on that as well so a lot of people like it because it's you know it's a 
really good simulator. Uh, you can do you know, normal farming, crop farming, animal ha husbandry, uh, logging, farming, you know, like um, forestry, sorry, forestry work. So it's got quite a few different things in this truck in it. You drive uh, big prime movers, tractor trailers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and there's tractors and uh, front end loaders. Uh, yeah, logging equipment. Yeah, you name it. It's got it as far as farming goes. So that'll be an interesting one. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, stick around because, like I said, within the next week I'll be uh, posting a few videos on that. It'll be uh, basically you know, me starting out fresh, a noob, finding out how to operate the uh, farm equipment and, and hopefully get some crops going and uh, make a bit of money that way in the farming simulator. a view of how this um, bounces around a bit. That's one of the things I noticed with the auto car. It's real um, spongy on the road. It's got very soft uh, suspension. So it uh, bobs and weaves around on the road while you're going along. Shout out to anyone from Barstow and Oxnard. How you going, fellas and girls? Say good day in the uh, comments below. And uh, if you've got any suggestions on upcoming videos that you'd like to see, let me know again in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Mr. Freeman. Mr. Freeman. Exit right. Turn right. Yeah, you can see the trap bobbing and weaving there from side to side. Let's see if we can. No, you can't really tell from outside here. Oh. Nah, not really. But yeah, it bounces around a bit, so I might pay this stiff and the uh, suspension up on it if you're going to use it. Yeah, look at that, rocking from side to side. And you can feel it through the steering wheel too. Keep left. I've set the um, gearbox up to be um, 
it's realistic it's possible where you can shift without the clutch Keep right. uh, but in this and truck exit right. nearly every well I think it's from fourth gear up it just grinds exit it won't go right. through to the gear so you've got to use the clutch on it that's another bit of a uh, bug that I noticed with it unless it's just me could be me Keep not left. whoa not used to nearly hit that right <laughs> could be, just be me not used to the truck But I don't normally have too many gear grinds when I'm in other trucks. I can uh, get the gears to change and match the revs without grinding in most cases. But like I say, with this one, I have a bit of a problem going uh, from fourth up to fifth, then from fifth to sixth. So I have to use the clutch. Yeah, if you look up in the uh, top right corner there, you can see that I can see the uh, passenger side. No, oh, excuse me. Passenger side um, rear view mirror. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, change lanes and whatnot. Okay, so the, yeah, the news that I was going to tell you about, um, I'm going to start producing uh, button boxes for ATS and ATS 2. Um, I've done a, a hunt around for, for parts for them and I can get them reasonably uh, inexpensively, reasonably cheap. And uh, what my objective is, is to try and make a affordable button box that um, basically has uh, all the requirements that you need for uh, American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 without the major cost that's involved in the, the ones that are on the market at the moment. Uh, most of the ones that I, I see here in Australia are like in excess of $300, uh, even for the most basic one. The ones that I'll be making will be, uh, there'll be like a, a, a real basic one and there'll be the standard one and then there'll be like a, a deluxe one. But they'll all be budget friendly, uh, relatively inexpensive compared to the ones that are on the market at the moment. The ones that are on the market at the moment are, like I say, for me just way too expensive. I couldn't afford to buy them. And I, I know a lot of people out there at the moment probably couldn't either because um, everybody's budget's tight. So yeah, so all basically what I'll be doing is it'll be cost plus a little bit for my time. So um, yeah, look, yeah, you know, keep an eye on the channel for that because uh, I'll be uh, producing some videos uh, showing how they, uh, what sort of quality they are, what parts go into them, and uh, exactly how they work. And like I say, if you're interested, um, just let me know, know down Keep in the right. comments and, um, and then exit right. I'll let you know when uh, I've got one ready to, to view and I'll exit do a video right. on it. But yeah, hopefully it's something that um, helps people out as far as pricing wise goes. Because Very like right. I say, everybody's uh, feeling the, the pinch at the moment money wise so yeah hopefully it's something you'll be interested in make the game more enjoyable enjoyable all right we're not far now Oxnard's just up around the corner again hello to people from Oxnard 
everybody near myself. So, uh, Keep right. maybe one day. And then, turn you right. never know. You never know, you're locked in the big smoke. Turn right. Okay, Mr. Freeman. Mr. Morgan Freeman. Turning right. Keep right. And then turn right. So we yeah, we're dropping off down at Rail Export or whatever it's called, aren't we? Yeah, there turn it right. is. Yep, Rail Export. This is the place. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty Where to we see dropping you on this mission. Uh, over there on the right. Right, swing out wide. Oh, see the cab roll there? Suspension is very soft. Alright, that'll do. Good stuff. Alright, let's take another quick look at the truck so you can see what it's like. Like I say, it's the old beat up auto car. I think, like I say, 1970. 1976 or something like that. Excellent. As Mr. Burns would say. 191, 4 hours, 45 gallons. It's at about 6,000 plus. Not bad. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, this is oh, a quick look at the truck first. So you get another gander at it. If you did enjoy it, please like, please subscribe, all that stuff. Share it with your friends because it helps me out. And that way I can bring you more videos. But it, like I say, if you did uh, like it, hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.